Welcome to Robin's Roost. Today I'm going to show you an emboss resist technique to make this swallowtail resist butterfly card. Now we're going to start with the swallowtail stamp, which is a large background stamp that's available in the big catalog. And we're going to ink it up with Versamark ink. And we're going to rub our piece of um, Whisper White cardstock. It's about a four by five piece with an embossing buddy to try to get it so it's not the paper so it's not staticky. So there is our butterfly. Now I'm just using a paper plate. to catch my embossing powder. And we're going to use the heat gun to melt the embossing powder. And I don't know about you, but it always seems like it's magic when I do this. Now the butterfly does have a lot of little tiny lines in it, so it does take a while to emboss. I know some people will use a clipboard with tin foil on it to keep your fingers a little bit further away from the uh, heat gun. I tend to just set it down and turn it to the other side. Now we're going to start with daffodil yellow and a sponge dabber and fill in the butterfly's wings with the yellow. Trying to stay in the lines. I normally take a little bit more time than this to do these. But I don't want you to have to sit through the painfulness of my uh, trying to stay in the lines. Then I'm going to take a little bit of pumpkin pie, not too much, but just a little, on some of these lines here. And then I'll go back. Make sure I've got everything all filled in, because we want him to be nice and bright. And the more you rub, the uh, bolder your colors are going to be. For the body of the butterfly, our basic black does not dry well on our white, so use a little stays on on here. And it smells wonderful. It's like you're baking almond cookies. There, just give him a little bit more black. Give him kind of that fuzzy caterpillar type look on the butterfly. Now for the background, I'm going to start with wild wasabi. And this I want to look as if the sun is shining through the leaves. You know how you're laying on the ground in the summertime and looking up through a tree? And it's just kind of all mottled looking. So, I don't want it to be real solid. I'm going to go back with some pear pizzazz. And you might even leave some of the white showing through a little bit. Just 
to give it that kind of leafy look. And there is our swallowtail butterfly. Now once it's dry, if you want to um, complete this card, just so simply put your, your butterfly in the honeycomb embossing folder and run it through your Big Shot. When you're through with that, your finished card or butterfly uh, panel, you want it to be three and a half by four inches. So you're going to have to decide which part you want to cut off. So this direction we want to be three and a half inches and we're going to have to decide if we want to take it from the top or from the bottom. And, I th and then this direction we want four. Okay. Next I decided that I was going to use um, a corner chomper just to give the corners a little bit different look. And I did do all four corners. A piece of black cardstock the same size and turn it the other direction. I'm going to stamp our petite pears greeting on a piece of whisper white with stays on. And then I will cut it out using the bubble framelits. So there's our ribbon, and I have a piece of scored cardstock. We're going to glue this on here. So I hope you enjoy this project and have fun making butterflies.